Steelhead, Salmon, Shad, Striper, Largemouth, Trout, Surf Perch, Rockfish, Lingcod, Catfish. What do all those fish species have in common, you may ask? One thing, they can all be caught on that rod right there. Yes, folks, today we are reviewing the Lamy Glass X11 series of rods. I'm gonna go over the specs, I'm gonna go over what I like about the rods, versatility, durability, and as well as the end, I'm gonna give you guys exact model numbers on these rods and you know each fish species that I would target with them. I have three or four of them, so I really enjoy using these rods. I'm gonna go over kind of my favorite specs on each one of the rods and kind of what I use it for. So yeah, stay tuned, hope you guys Enjoy the video. All right, let's go over the specs on the first rod I'm gonna cover here. The one I'm gonna cover for the video is gonna be the LX86MS, which is the eight foot six medium fast. This is the one I use for a lot of different fish. Line weight is eight to 12 pounds. Lure weight is a quarter to three quarter ounce. And this is a two piece rod, usually coming in at around 100 to $110. I'm gonna start with versatility because that's probably the biggest um, selling point on these rods. Oh my goodness, Lamy Glass has knocked it out of the park on the models for these rods. They have, there's kind of two series. They have kind of their smaller series, which is a lot of their ultralight rods and stuff like that. The ones I'm talking more about today are the bigger sizes. And these ones are gonna be your eight, nine, 10 foot rods. Um, primarily used more for steelhead, salmon, surf perch, and a lot of those fish where you need a longer rod. Incredible, I mean, you can, there's so many different sizes any kind of fish you were targeting, they have a rod for it. Uh, the rod I have right here is an eight foot six medium. I use this for light surf perch. I use it for, you know, like medium sized steelhead, bunch of different stuff. This would work great as well. If you're at Pyramid Lake throwing spoons, use that there as well. It did a great job. My other one I've got is a nine foot six moderate fast light action and I use this for shad because it can throw a light lure a really good ways out there as well as it's got a lot of bend and it's a long rod so it's easy to pick and mend up line as well as to keep shad pinned because they have super soft mouths so I've got that one right there and then the one I just picked up which I haven't been able to fish with yet because as most of you know I got an arm injury haven't picked up a bait caster in about a year and a half now this one is a 7.6 medium heavy. I believe it's a medium heavy. It doesn't say on here. It just says bounce and uh, hover. It's meant for salmon. However, this bait cast right here is the ultimate glide bait rod. It's got a more of a moderate bend. However, it's still a heavy action. So it just hucks those glide baits out there perfectly. Yet when a largemouth hits, you know, he's got those big head shakes. It's got a lot of, you know, rod absorption basically to not give that stress on the line or on the treble hooks. Those are the three models I own. There is so many different species you can target with these rods, incredible rods. As for durability, you know, I really haven't had any problems yet. I don't know kind of what to talk about on this section because I haven't really pushed them to the max yet. I really enjoy it. These have held up. I mean, this one's rated to just three quarter ounce and I've hucked an ounce and a half easily on this. So they're pretty durable rods. They do have really sensitive tips. So it's something you've got to watch. You know, don't be horsing around too much in your car, especially because they're longer rods. So watch out for your ceiling fans, different stuff like that. They will break, but if you take good care of them, I'll take good care of you back. One aspect to me that isn't as important on rods as it is reels is the looks category. Now, for most of you, you know, as you can see, these are very plain rods. They're a gray blank. I do believe they make like a red blank as well, but the most popular, you know, well-known version of the X11 is that gray blank. It's more of like a smoke. It's got some, a uh, little bit of black um, on the thread, not too much of it though. And then the core candle with the white lettering. It's really, really simple. And I prefer this with rods. The less on the rod, the better, because it's gonna make your rod lighter and it's usually gonna make it a little more durable and sturdy. So I don't like a whole lot of pretty extra stuff on my rods. I like them plain, get the job done. The reel is what you use to flex on people. So the reel, keep your reels pretty, keep your rods basic just to get the job done. And that's exactly what they've done with this rod. So kudos to Lamy Glass on that one. For $100, this is the best rod in terms of if you're getting into a certain fish you know, species and you wanna start targeting them a little more seriously, this rod is perfect for that. A lot of rods that are sub 100, um, you lose a decent amount of sensitivity once you get kind of under that $100 price range. And these guys are super sensitive, um, as well as I do believe they have a pretty good warranty. I think they do, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, Lamy Glass backs up their gear 
I know a couple guys that are sales reps and stuff for Landing Glass, and they are awesome guys. They always used to come into Bass Pro and talk to me about their rods, and um, they were very, very confident in their rods abilities. They just solely fished Landing Glass. They didn't fish any other product. They loved them, and they backed it up, and that says something about Landing Glass. So, yeah, 100 bucks. Oh my gosh, these are exceptional. All right, let's go over a couple of the models that I would use for certain types of fish. So I would say the most popular one, if you were just gonna get one rod, the eight foot six medium heavy spinning. That's gonna come out as the LX86MHS on their website for their model number. That rod, you can cover so many different fish. Like I said, I would use that for surf perch. This one I use for surf perch as well. This is just the medium. However, on heavier wind days or heavier current days, the tide's really up. It's hard to throw anything above a two ounce on this. So that's where the medium heavy would really come in. That would really help on some of those tougher days. I would use that as well, throwing off the rocks for rockfish and lingcod. A lot of my videos you guys see, I'm using a medium heavy in those videos. Uh, catfish, this would be a great catfish rod, the eight foot six medium heavy, because you know, it's a long rod. So you're able to get baits out really far if you're fishing off the bank. It's a really fun rod. Some of those beefy rods are fun for catfish, but you don't get a lot of fight out of little guys. So the nice thing about an eight foot six medium heavy is you're still gonna get a lot of bend in the rods. So you're gonna get a good fight out of those two or three pounders, but it's still enough to where if you have those big fish on, you've still got something to, to really horse them in. Eight, that eight foot six medium heavy, hands down the most versatile, best rod to have of all time. I love eight foot six medium heavies. So for the eight foot six medium, which is this guy, kind of already said, light surf perch would be amazing. For medium sized steelhead, um, kind of like we had on the American River, Feather River, a lot of those rivers, um, this is perfect for it because some of those fish are still relatively small and so you want to have good sensitivity so you can feel those bites. So these are not Washington steelhead I'm talking about. If you're talking Washington steelhead, you need to upgrade your gear. But for medium sized steelhead, eight foot six mediums, perfect. Light surf perch works great. Um, like I said before, Pyramid Lake throwing spoons is perfect for a rod like this. So it hucks, you know, those half ounce spoons perfectly fine. That extra length really helps to cast out there. So that'd be a great option for that. Now, the longer rods are definitely, definitely geared more towards salmon and steelhead. However, I have found a use for the nine foot six. This one is the uh, LX96LS. So that is a nine foot six light and it's a moderate fast action, which means your middle of your rod is gonna have more bend than the tip of your rod. And the nice part about that, like I said before, shad have super soft mouths. So to be able to get something that casts a long ways, as well as has a lot of bend in the rods when that shad is running or shaking or turning, it's crucial. I, I mean, I could notice the first year I started fishing for shad, the second I started using this rod, my hook to land ratio was so much higher. I was losing way less fish. I was having more fun. It was awesome. As for salmon, everybody's got a different opinion on what rod they should use, right? The one I would recommend if you're on the bank throwing flying seas or flossing or something like that, I would use the LX710 HBC, which is basically a 710 heavy bait cast. And that's gonna get you through a lot of those different applications for salmon. I'm not a pro on salmon, nowhere near a pro on salmon, but that's just the rod I would purchase if I was targeting a lot more salmon off the bank. Like I said, there's so many different ways to target salmon. That's why Lamy Glass has so many different sized rods. As they cater, they are a salmon and steelhead company. So they're catering towards those two fish mostly. That's why most of their rods are geared for those fish. However, they work fantastic for all, all sorts of species. Case in point, the new glide bait rod I got. Like I said before, it's a hover and bounce for salmon. However, oh my gosh, it is the perfect glide bait rod. I cannot wait to start throwing big baits on this and having a blast. If you guys want to see two great reels that would match up with these rods, I'll put them up right here on the video. Uh, yeah, wrapping it up here, Lamy Glass, exceptional company, makes great rods, and this X11 is no exception. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing.